Master Christ, my Lord. The champion of faith who destroys the devil's work through Christ of Genesis 3.15 Truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Matthew chapter 24 verse 34 through 35 Genesis 5, 1 through 32 lists all the names of the people of the covenant who walked with God. Their names are Adam's third son, Seth, and Seth's descendants, Enos, Enoch, and Noah. The descendants of Seth sang Genesis 3:15 in the name of Jehovah every day to crush the head of Satan, the ancient serpent that steals, kills, and leads us to destruction. Calling on the name of Jehovah, they were truly happy children of God who enjoyed a wonderful life on earth and then in kingdom of God. Our remnants, called to this earth as the holy seed with the life of Christ, Jesus is the Christ of Genesis 3.15 that crushed Satan's head. If you keep calling this name every day, the power of sin, death, and hell and all the curses in your body will crumble, and your heart will be renewed. Also, God not only responds to you, but intervenes in everything you do. Now shall we all, with confidence and power, call on the name of Christ. Jesus is the Christ. I am a child of God. All problems are gone. Satan be gone. Filled with the Holy Spirit world evangelization. To the ends of the earth, I will be your witness. <coughs> How did Cain and his descendants live after losing the worship of power and blood of Jesus Christ, the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15? The descendants of Cain turned into bodies of disaster, conceived by the original sin, they saw the curses upon them, trapped in problems without a choice but to live in constant fear. So they built a tall castle, collected money, made machines, and made music. Like them, if you don't destroy the works of the devil in the name of Christ, your condition will be under fear, and all things such as worry, anxiety, discouragement, and despair will come. However, Seth, Enos, Enoch, and Noah who entered the world of Christ and were born with the original sin of Genesis 3 with bodies enslaved to Satan living in fear. They never stopped calling Jesus is the Christ of Genesis 3.15. God gave absolute peace to those who called only Jesus is the Christ. And this is why Seth, Enosh, Enoch, and Noah didn't have to build a tall castle. They really believed that God would do everything if they called on the name of Jesus Christ. In the world of the Nephilim, which was ruled by warriors filled with evil spirits, God commanded the faithful Noah to call on the name of Jesus Christ of Genesis 3.15. He told Noah to build a very large ark on the side of a high mountain to prepare for the judgment of the coming flood. Many people laughed at Noah who only called the name Jesus is the Christ while building the ark for 120 years, saying that the sky was clear without a single cloud and there would be no heavy rain. However, Noah unconditionally obeyed the work of the kingdom of God. For 120 years, he only called that name saying, Jesus is the Christ, 
and became a righteous man through God's grace. In the end, Noah built the first big ark and became the greatest conglomerate to conquer the world. All people born on this earth lost the image of God and the breath of God because of the original sin in Genesis 3. For this, God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to this earth to save me from curses and disasters. And Christ died on the cross to solve all my problems and was resurrected. Now he has given the Christ authority to me who have received Christ and was saved. If I can't be freed from the original sin in my body, I'm always oppressed by the devil. For this, Christ is a true king who destroys the works of the devil. The true priest who finished all curses and disasters the true prophet who opened the way to meet God. Satan still tricks me into not calling on the name of Christ. That is why I must live as a champion of faith who destroys the works of the devil through the promise given by God, Christ of Genesis 3.15. Satan the devil, you unclean spirit who deceived me and causes me to quarrel and misbehave so that I cannot call on the name of Christ. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, be gone from me. I bless you to become the children of light of Christ that shines in the darkness of 237 countries around the world. Living God, thank you for giving me the authority of Christ, Genesis 3.15, so that I can live as a truly happy child of God when I was born with original sin and was oppressed by the devil since Genesis 3. Solely fill me with the Holy Spirit so that I can become the champion of faith who destroys the devil's work through Christ of Genesis 3.15 every day and become the spiritual summit who fulfills the 237 diaspora mission. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>